Fox News alert on a bombshell admission by the Internal Revenue Service. Do they admit they did it? They admit they did it because you forced them to admit they did it. Tell us how it started. Attorney Jay Sekulow confirms to CBS News that IRS targeting of Tea Party groups began in 2011. Well, when we saw the letters that the IRS had sent to our clients, I, I was outraged. As chief counsel of the conservative American Center for Law and Justice, Seculo has represented nearly 30 Tea Party groups investigated by the IRS. Welcome back to Hannity. Now, although the president was the mastermind behind Obamacare, he certainly is not the only one who should be held accountable for the national health care crisis. The question is, when will those responsible... When are they going to be held accountable? Here to respond from the American Center for Law and Justice, Jay Sekulow. This thing looks like a train wreck. Well, the president announced the train wreck today. It's a disaster. The president cannot keep his word on this, Sean. Jay Sekulow has been fighting to free Pastor Abedini, and he is the chief counsel at the American Center for Law and Justice. This must be very frustrating development for you. It really is, Martha. When we got word that this was in process, we've been in discussions with the State Department, as you know. Finally, the president spoke out. The president brought up Saeed Abedini in the conversation with the president of Iran. Uh, and we've been in conversations with the State Department for months. Jay Sekulow, an attorney with a passion for protecting religious liberty. To understand Jay's commitment to defending religious freedom, you've got to start with his family. I never argued a case at the Supreme Court of the United States, and here I was, the grandson of a Russian immigrant. Um, I'm only the second generation of my family born in the United States. And my grandfather came into uh, the United States at age 14 through Ellis Island, uh, was a Russian immigrant, fled Russia with his family because of religious persecution against Jews. For nearly a quarter of a century, Jay has been on the front lines, even before the formation of the American Center for Law and Justice in 1990. Jay became a frequent advocate at the Supreme Court, appearing numerous times defending life defending religious liberty, and protecting our national history and heritage. Jay was named one of the most influential lawyers in the country. He's listed as one of a distinguished group of attorneys, quote, whose vision and commitment are changing lives. Under his direction, the ACLJ has been labeled, quote, a powerful counterweight to the ACLU. A comprehensive media strategy expands the reach of the ACLJ. Jay's daily radio broadcast tackles the tough issues that matter most. His weekly television show highlights key decision makers. A user-friendly website provides regular updates. And of course, there are opportunities to debate the issues in the public arena. Jay Sekulow, Chief Counsel of the American Center for Law and Justice. Even with the accomplishments and victories, he's never very far from his roots. And my grandfather was a fruit peddler in Brooklyn, New York. My father was a retailer. What would he be thinking that his grandson is arguing cases before the Supreme Court of the United States, the most important court in the world. 